it's not too windy I didn't expect to be vlogging right now but right now I'm about to try this new phone simulation it's called Eterna B2 guys I am sorry to interrupt right now I am editing the video that you just started watching and I had to cut in because the wind was just unbearable I was not gonna allow you to go through that so I'm just gonna jump in and tell you what I'm doing so basically I'm just trying out this new Fujifilm recipe that I found in Fujifilm X weekly if you guys all know that is a place to go to get amazing recipes for your Fujifilm camera now the latest one that I the, the most recent one I tried is the Eterna V2 and that's what I'm shooting on right now this is Eterna V2 but keep in mind that this is an older Fujifilm body, this is the X-H1 and the Eterna V2 is designed uh, for the x Sensor 4 which is uh, X-T4, X-E4, X-S10. Those cameras can have all the complete settings. So I don't have a complete settings for the Eterna V2 but it looks different than Eterna. It looks really nice. I'm loving what we're getting out of this recipe and you know, let me just show you guys the b-roll so i'm going to show you some stills videos that i shot using the eterna v2 and keep in mind this is all straight out of the camera check it out no editing has been done to any of the clips here so this is all just raw footage i'm just gonna clip and trim export and send it to you guys to youtube so enjoy <music> So guys, we're back. What do you guys think about the footage? Personally, I love the colors. I I don't know, you know what? I know this is a cliche, but we could just sum up this recipe as cinematic. 
I know it's a cliche. I, this word has been through overthrown. It has been overused in YouTube. Everything is cinematic nowadays. But no, I'm not talking about my video. My video is not cinematic. No, I'm talking about the colors, the tonality, that atmosphere looks like something will be used in a film, in some indie film or something. It just looks very complete. And I just gotta say, wow, guys, you know, like out of the camera, we're getting these colors. It's just amazing. I, I really recommend this recipe. If you're gonna be shooting something urban, such as architect buildings, if you got rocks, you know, it's, it's very reminiscent of the classic Chrome film simulation, which I love to shoot architecture and shoot just buildings and just streets. So I found that this Eterna is very similar. It's just awesome. The shadows are not too contrasty and they're not, uh, the colors are not overly saturated. They're muted, but you still got the colors. So I really love the baby, the sky blue we get out of this recipe. And also the, the rocks, the architecture, just they, they look so grainy and so gritty. And I'm sure that the shooting at DR400 helps. So that's kind of like adding grain to your footage. Now for the full recipe, I'm gonna leave the link in the description and actually the settings that I use for the x Sensor 4. So if you want, uh, I'm sorry, the x Sensor 3. So if you wanna check that out, feel free to try it on your camera. Now there's a couple things that I, I just wanna get out there, let you guys know. Uh, the first half of the video, you might have noticed some funky vignetting and coloring around the corners of the image. That is uh, a, a couple of mistakes I made. Um, one is shooting ultra wide lens. So I was shooting with the Pergia 12 millimeter F2 lens. Everything was shot with that lens, by the way. And this KFC, K, uh, KFC, <laughs> KNF concept. ND filter, variable ND filter. This is an ND2 to ND400. Strong ND filters and ultra wide lens do not go hand to hand. I should have shot with a 35 or a 50 mil. Would have been a lot better to avoid that vignetting and the, just the funky discolorization in the corners. So I'm sorry, the first part of the video was just horrible. That's pretty much it guys. Just watch out with the ND, what you're using and the lens you're using, the focal lens you're using, if you keep that in mind, you could avoid the horrible mistake I made at the first part of the video. But guys, color-wise, if you dig the recipe, I would appreciate letting me know your feedback. Thumbs up, smash that like button if you do like this style. And if you wanna see more, uh, go ahead and head over to Fujifilm Weekly and they have a lot more recipes for you to try out. And don't worry about the whole extra sensor four or the three you know try it in your camera who knows maybe the settings that are available in your camera might help tweak your style a little bit and it did it did work this time for eternal v2 i'm glad i tried it out and i'm sure to shoot with this a lot more i really appreciate you taking the time to listen to my two cents over this topic over the new recipe that i'm trying out thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one Peace.